Hello, how to solve x power y is equals to y power x to find the value of x and y. So first we let y is equal to kx, whereas k is constant. So our equation will be x power of y is kx, so to be power of kx is equal to y is kx bracket power of x. Then next step we apply square root in both sides, so to be x power of kx is equal to kx bracket power of x, then we apply square root in both sides. Then our equation will be x power of kx bracket times square root is same as power of a half is equal to kx bracket power of x bracket times power of square root is same as a half. Now from here in this exponent we will apply exponential rule that a power of m bracket power of n is equals to a power of m n is equal to a power of n bracket power of m. So in our equation we will multiply the powers. Then here it will be x power of kx times power of half is to be kx over 2 is equal to kx power of x times power of a half it will be power of x over 2. In here there is bracket. Then we can see here from the powers x over 2, x over 2 is common. Then from this rule we will let power of x over 2 out of bracket. So in our equation it will be x power of k bracket power of x over 2 is equal to kx bracket power of x over 2. Now because power of x over 2 is common, we will multiply by power of 2 over x in both sides. So this and this will cancel, this and this will cancel, same as here. So our equation will be x power of k is equal to kx. Then again x is common, so we'll divide by x in both sides. Then this and this will cancel. Now from here division of exponent we will apply exponential rule that a power of m over a power of n is equals to a power of m minus n. Then here in our equation to be k is equal to x power of x here x is same as x power of 1 so to be power of x minus 1. So we already get the value of k. Now to make x the subject to find the value of x we will multiply by power of 1 over k minus 1 in both sides. So this and this will cancel then x will be equal to this k power of 1 over k minus 1. So this is the value of x in terms of k. Then to find the value of y, but then recall before we let y is equal to kx. So y will be equal to k times x which is k 
power of 1 over k minus 1. So this will be equal to k. Then we add the powers. Here is same as 1. To find the denominator, here is same as 1 over 1. So denominator here it will be k minus 1. Then this divided by this times 1 is k minus 1. Then this divided by this times 1 is plus 1. So y will be equal to k power of negative 1 and 1 will cancel. So it will be power of k over k minus 1. So this is the value of y in terms of k. Now, because we already get the value of x and y in terms of k, whereas k is constant, as any number which is ratio between x and y. Now, if we let k is equal to 3, now, to find the value of x will be equal to, we substitute here 3, so it will be 3 power of 1 over 3 minus 1, which is equal to 3 power of 1 over 2. Then x is equal to 3 power of a half, which will be square root of 3. So this is the value of x when constant is 3. Now to find the value of y, it will be equal to, we substitute here 3. So it will be 3 power of 3 over 3 minus 1. So it will be y is equal to 3 power of 3 over 3 minus 1 is 2. So from here, this y is equal to 3 power of 3 times a half, but we know a half is same as square root, so it will be y is equals to 3 half is square root, so it will be square root of 3 power of 3, so bracket power of 3. So this is the value of x and this is the value of y when k which is constant is 3. Now to check if our answer is correct from these values of x and y from our problem which is x power of y is equals to y power of x now we substitute the value of x and y the value of x here is square root of 3 and value of y is this one square root of 3 power of 3 is equal to y which is square root of 3 bracket power of 3 then times x is square root of 3 so we multiply by the power of square root of 3 then here it will be square root of 3 power of 3 square root is same as power of a half then times power of 3 it will be equal to this square root of 3 bracket times power of 3 times square root of 3 is same as 3 power of a half so in this multiplication of powers it will be square root of 3 power of 3 power of a half times power of 3, which will be power of 3 over 2, is equal to square root of 3 power of 3, which is same as 3 power of 1. Now, from here, multiplication of exponent, we will apply rule that a power of m times a power of n is equal to a power of m plus n. Then in here it will be 3 power.
power of 1 plus power of a half, which is power of 3 over 2. Now, when we compare left side and right side, base are the same and the power are the same. So, it's true for the value of x, the value of y and the value of x when we substitute the constant which is 3 as equation of x and y in terms of k is correct. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.